Solve equations in quadratic form. x square plus 36 over x square minus 13 equals to 0. This is kind of a quadratic form but not really a quadratic equation. It's x square is in the denominator, right? So, well, we can do some substitution and write it in quadratic form. So, let me show you that. So, that's our right hand column which I'm going to use as a rough one, right? So, what I will do is substitute x square as let's say t okay and then see what happens so if i do x square equals to t then the equation gets transformed to t plus 36 over t minus 13 equals to 0. now i can multiply both the sides by t and see what results so it becomes t square plus 36 t minus, not t, because t gets cancelled, minus 13t equals to 0. Well, that looks like a quadratic equation. Let me rearrange it. Well, if I do so, I get x squared minus 13t plus 36 equals to 0. Perfect. And that is definitely a quadratic equation with three terms. Now, to factor this, what we can do? we can find two numbers whose product is 36 and whose sum is coefficient of t which is minus 13. Okay, so what could be those two numbers? So let's factor and try out. 36 is 9 times 4, perfect, 9 times 4, but we need sum as negative, so both should be negative. So if you add negative 9 and negative 3, you negative 4 you do get minus 13 so that is factored so now we can write this as t minus 9 times t minus 4 equals to 0 now this gives us two different values of t right so let's write both and try to solve so one value of t which we get here is t equals to 4 if i write t as 4 then I get 0, 0 times anything is 0. So that is one solution. The other one is t equals to 9. If I write t equals to 9, then it becomes 0. 0 times anything is 0. So that is also a solution. What is t? We really want to find what x is. Now if t is 9, then the value of x square is also 9, right? So t is 9, that means our substitution x square is t. So we can write this as x square equals to 9 or x square equals to 4. Now let's solve both and find possible values of x. If x square is 4, then x is equals to square root of 4. I mean square root of 4. Not only plus, but both plus and minus, right? Which gives us two answers, which is plus and minus 2. I've seen students making mistake at this stage, you know x is equals to plus and minus square root of 9 which gives us two answers which is plus and minus 3 remember minus 3 square is also 9 minus 2 square is 4 so both are the answers so whenever you are square rooting on both sides remember to put the sign plus and minus correct now so you get two different answers at this stage it's a good idea to check if you really got the right answers or not right so let's do that check so we'll do check so we can check it here and say well let's put plus and minus 3 since square will be positive we can put plus and minus 3 together right so we write plus and minus 3 square plus 36 over plus and minus 3 square minus 13 is what Plus and minus 3 squared is 9, so 9 plus 36 over 9 minus 13. 9 plus 4 minus 13, oh that is 0, so it serves. Similarly, we can check for plus and minus 2. So if you write plus and minus 2 squared, you get 4, right? So let's check it on this side. So if I write plus and minus 2 for x, I get plus and minus 2 square plus 36 over 
plus and minus 2 square minus 13. So plus minus 2 square is 4 plus 36 over 4 minus 13. 4 plus 9 minus 13 which is equal to 0. So it works. So our answers therefore are, we can write down now our answers. So answers to the problem is plus and minus 2 as well as plus and minus 3.